To view your workout data, click on the dashboard and you'll get these graphs based off of the workouts you've written. We're currently viewing the dashboard for this team, this group, and this date range. If we want to change any of that, we just click and then we can change these filters. I'm going to change the start date to the beginning of September. Hit update and now you'll see I have the full month of September here. This is the week by week view. If you want to click on the week, then you can get the day by day view. If you click on a specific day, you'll see the workouts completed that day and you can click on that workout and it'll actually take you to that specific workout. Here, we'll just go back to weeks. And these graphs are also interactive. So if I click on kick, now I'm getting a representation of all of the kick yards. So this is how much fly kick we did versus free kick. This is how much kick we did in this week versus that week. If I, again, if I click on this week, this is how much kick we did each day. I can also click on fly. And so this is how much fly kick we did. This is how much fly kick we did on this day, etc. So you can have multiple filters on at once and really dig into your data. Another nice thing is the athlete view. So currently we're viewing all of the workout data for this specific group, but if I want to see what it is for a specific athlete, I just click on the athlete view and then select an athlete, hit update, and now based on that athlete's attendance, this is the data for that athlete. There's a lot you can do, so make sure you click around, change the different filters, and analyze the trends in your data.